Back in Primrose Hill, Sadie was about to change the face of British cultural history. It all started with a chance encounter with two monkey-faced monobrowed brothers from Manchester, Noel Gallagher and his kid Liam. You've got such attitudes. Have you ever thought of starting a band? Not really, no. We're just down on the rob like you. Well, you should. It's like there's a whole new movement about to start. What movement? I don't know. No one's quite defined it yet. But I think it should definitely be called... Britpop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I like it. I think you're onto something now, love. Can I have my bag back, please? Sadie had just invented Britpop. Come on, our kid. Let's do one. But she had an even bigger bombshell for Jude. Came as quickly as I could, given my very heavy filming commitments. So what's wrong? Nothing's wrong, Jude. It's just that I have wonderful news. I'm pregnant. Oh. It's great news. You're pregnant. We're having a baby. I suppose we should get married then. Oh, Jude, of course I accept. I'd love to be your wife. Mm. I'm so happy. They were London's sweethearts, and now Sadie was finally looking forward to spending some quality time with Jude. She couldn't have been happier. Oh, what a wonderful wedding. Where are we going on our honeymoon? What are you talking about? What, haven't you booked anywhere? No, I'm going back to work. But Jude, surely you can take two weeks off for a honeymoon? Don't you understand anything? Jude, what's the matter? Look! My hair! It's receding! I've got 18 months, maybe two years to make it in this business. Otherwise, it's character roles. Jude, it's a wedding day. I don't care. My career comes first. Sadie was gutted, but at least she could rely on the support of her best friend, Kate Moss. Sorry, Sadie. I've got a bit held up. Hey, Moss, you have come after all. Of course I've come. I'm your best mate. Shouldn't you be on your honeymoon with Jude, though? Jude's career comes first, Kate. And we both decided he's far too busy for a honeymoon. All right. Do you want to do a shitload of cake, then? What's this? Nothing. Give it off back. But I don't understand. You're not going solo, are you, Jerry? Thing is, Vic, I've got to think about myself. I mean, what's going to happen to me if the Spice Girls split? I, I can't go back to presenting on cable. I just can't. Do you understand, don't you, Vic? Yes. Of course I do. You've got to put yourself first. That's what I said to her. You've got to be strong in this game. Like a heterosexual man. So, uh, I understand you're into this tantric sex and all that malarkey, then. That's right, eh? I can go nine hours without shooting me muck. It's bloody brilliant. What do you make of all this, Stella? I'd have been a successful fashion designer, even if my dad wasn't Paul McCartney. All right.